Okay, now it's time to learn how to make some partial cloverleaf interchanges. Partial cloverleaves are essentially functionally identical to diamonds, but they are set out quite differently. Okay, so we have our bridge over our highway, and we have, of course, our highway. Now, what the clever thing about a partial cloverleaf is, is it instead of taking up sort of this much room and being quite lengthy, you can fit it on one side of the road, or even opposite sides. So let's let's get to it. Okay, hop into your highways menus. There we are, and we're after the modular interchange system. Now. tab through until you get to style B and place your style B very close to your bridge here. Now get your rural highway drag it out a little make sure you go make sure you go two across and down from where it starts and then to keep it nice and tight. If you want it wider of course you can make it wider, but to keep it nice and tight after that immediately take a turn inwards to your road and connect it up like so. So we've got our ramp heading eastbound now. Remember I'm driving on the left so this carriageway goes eastwards. Now then, it's very important that you build this loop before you build the other side because if you don't, you might place the junctions too close together and it will go all horribly wrong, which is uh, no good. Okay, so once you've created this, start immediately next to it with your rural highway and start dragging it out. It doesn't matter at all that you're currently in two-lane mode. So just drag it out, like so. And the reason we're doing that now is so that we can place our next interchange section. OK. Uh, swap that around with your end key and place it uh, there, yeah. And then just connect your two lane to your interchange, and suddenly your two lane highway metamorphosizes into an on ramp. Now, remember I said in the first video to keep an eye on your yellow lines being together. Well, you notice on our ramps, the yellow lines have come together naturally. And that's a very good indicator that you've done it correctly. OK, so now all we have to do is sort out this ridiculous slope here. Look how steep that is. <laughs> no good for a highway exit, it must be said. OK, and because these are slip roads, we can get away with using the road tool to flatten it out. There we are. Okay, and now the same this side. Let's just flatten this bit out first, if it'll let me. No, it's being daft. Oh, oh well. Okay, so style B. As close to your bridge as you can get it. down two, across one, up a couple, and back on itself. Then start plotting out your other side. Ooh. Make sure you don't get them intersecting like that because then it'll mess it up. Oh, that's too much. Let's delete that one. Pop that there. Back to our interchanges. 
There we are. And connect them together. And then we have a complete, oh, aside from sorting the slope out, of course, a complete partial clover leaf. It is especially useful if you've got lots of housing developments each side, for example, say, like that, and you're short on space on one side of the motorway. And that's how to connect your motorway together with a partial clover leaf.